Hey everyone, what's going on? Today we are doing the Seed of Power quest. We are at the Rinted Infested Plains and you're going to want to speak with this Verindi delegate here who will ask you to venture into the nearby center of the Obsidian Plains and discover what the cause of, I don't know, some powerful energy rippling through the plains is. So we're going to jump down and run to the southwest. We're not going to go up onto the plateau. We're actually going to stay down and we're running for where this gap in the two plateaus is I'm gonna run past the twisted refuge one of the Gorain's host dungeons You will see three portals, Seed of Misery, Seed of Anger, Seed of Hatred, and in the middle, the Rinted Crystal Access Device. You can do these in any order. So we're going to start with Seed of Misery. This quest, pretty much the uh, names of the dungeons sum it up. It is pretty tough, pretty annoying. So this one, we're just going to run through. There's some dead ends, so you have to make sure you go in the right direction. Oh my god, please heal. Nice. 414 health. Dispel gems, definitely recommended. And then you will get to this point where you will see a hollow servitor in front of you so i like to hide in this hallway here pull just the servitor get your imperil and vuln on and then kill it one on one killing that opens the next door This door right here would normally be closed. And then you'll get to this point where you will need to kill the Disciple of Misery. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, that was my last Dispel Gem. or something or I'm just not very good anyway so you're going to want to try to imperil and vuln the disciple of misery got 23,000 health probably gonna die I like to imperil and vuln it and try to drop the summon right on top of it Switch to my Rinted Bow. Thank you, Cloak. Constantly continue moving around when you crit this thing it takes a huge chunk of its health which is really nice and then when it dies a whole bunch of crystals are going to spawn on the ground you can pick one of those up and then head into the surface portal can't do that while in there awesome. go to seat of anger next we're going to be generally doing the same thing in this dungeon, except there's going to be a series of levers that you'll pull in these little side corridors, 
which will open the immediate door. It's not too complicated. It's just something to try to get you caught and having to <laughs> fight these hollows, I guess. I believe there are four levers and four associated doors. To the end we're going to be fighting a, another disciple so this is the disciple of anger once again trying to drop our summon on it definitely helps Maybe worth adding these to your Verni Sense just as an easier way to target them because you can't click on them here because there's like a Verni cage or something on top of them. This is good, they're all attacking my summon for a second. All right, same thing, kill it. Bunch of things will spawn on the ground, splinters of anger. Make sure we looted it and jump in the surface portal. We'll go in the last one, Seed of Hatred. Teleported to recently. All right, so this one we're going to run through. There's going to be a few jumps that we have to do. not to get hit since we don't have any dispel gems. Thank you, cloak. All right, so we're going to kill this door. Typically just run up, imperil it, drop my summon on it. I'm using a really high melee defense wand in here to avoid the hollows. So you go through the door, jump over, and then make a left into this door, there will be this where you can't really see what you're going, but you want to do kind of like a half power jump. My jump is 552, so that was half power for me. If you fall short and fall in, you have to recall and run back and do this dungeon again. That's so two jumps and then down the hallway. Not good. All right, and then we'll do, do the same thing. We're going to imperil and vulnerable the Disciple of Hatred. I like to do it from this uh, little circular area because you can get less aggro from an entire room full of Verindy. Gives you a chance to switch into your bow. Drop your summon on it or in the area of it. And then once again, kill the Disciple of Hatred. This is such a involved quest for the reward, but because of the John legendary quests, which maybe you watched my video on, um, it's worth doing. I consider this to be one of the easier ones in that it's soloable. Um, and while it is difficult, it's not too difficult. I would rather fight this, at least with the way my melee is, than some of the Hoshino um, ones. But once again, we're going to loot the splinter, and then we're going to recall to the encampment. Took a quick pit stop to get some more dispel gems, but when you're ready, and before you start handing stuff in, make sure you have 
at least I think like six pack slots open. And then you're gonna hand over each of the splinters. You'll get rewarded for each one. So you could just do these individually. You get 3000 luminance, 25 million experience, an age legendary key, a trade note, and a focused splinter of hatred. So we're gonna need all three of these in order to do the final portion of the quest. So you should have a focused splinter of misery, anger, and hatred. And we're gonna head back to that area. All right, when you're back here, you're going to hand one of these to the Rinthid Crystal Access device. A bright light burns your eyes and blinds you momentarily. You hand over each of the shards and then you're teleported into this dungeon. We're going to go north. Now this is a series of rooms with all these like um, clouds that are going to cast lightning bolts at you. You just wanna keep moving, heal as you need to. And the reason we took a little detour was to get some gems of dispel. So let me just use two because I was lagging. But yeah, just kind of zigzag run, try to avoid as many galvanic strikes as you can. Now this, I think it's this room. No, this room just... Yeah, so they're going to drain your stamina. So if, if you just use auto run or continue holding forward, even though I have weight of eternity on me and I have no stamina, it shouldn't matter. Um, I'll still keep running at full speed, which if you stop, you'll go back to running very slowly and probably get hit by a bunch of the war spells. So this section, you see a lot of war bolts coming from the sides and try to avoid those. And then we get to the true test at the end, which is all of these lightning patterns on the floor. So the way this section works is you have to walk and can only walk on the area where you see the lightning on the floor. If you stray off of it, you're going to get teleported back. Um, I, I'm not sure if you get teleported here or all the way back at the beginning and have to do this all again. So we're going to try to avoid that at all costs. Seven seconds on my weight of eternity. There we go. So you're going to want to just kind of make sure you're aligned. Take your time. Realign as necessary. So then I go all the way south. Then east. Then south again. Every once in a while readjusting, waiting for the lightning to show itself. Then west. Now I don't know if this is the most efficient route, but this is the one that I've found that works. Turn back north very briefly. Then west. north again now you can run all the way west then south again now east Now south to the next crossing, then east, then south, and now all the way straight shot east, just making sure you're still on the path to the hallway. Not so bad once you know the path and the way to do it, and then you'll see this mysterious portal which you need to use. A mysterious voice whispers softly in your mind, a gift to remind you of your impending fate. Be afraid, fragile one. And it gives you a lightning cloud, which is a really cool housing item, which kind of makes a lightning cloud. 
so pretty awesome. And you can recall back to the camp for the last time, speak with the Verindi delegate for your final rewards. Another 6,000 luminance, 50 million experience, a fourth legendary key, and four trade notes. So I think in total it's 12,000 luminance, three. No, it's 15,000 luminance total. So pretty good. And it's a legendary quest, like I said. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.